I'm a former US visa officer and it's story time. This story is going to interest you if you're a US citizen in a relationship with someone who is from outside the United States or if you reside in the United States in a different status and you want to invite a partner or a significant other to the United States for a visit. It all started 10 years ago when I got a boyfriend. I was living abroad, I was dating someone and things were going really well. I decided to invite him to my family's home in the United States for Christmas um, and we bought the tickets and after buying the tickets realized, uh-oh, he has a passport that is, requires him to have a visa to enter the United States with me as a visitor for the holidays. Filled out the applications, paid the visa fee, got an appointment. He went to the visa interview at the nearest embassy and we thought that it was gonna be easy. We thought, all right, great, we're going to the US for the holidays, it's gonna be fun. However, when he got to the visa interview, things turned out a lot differently than that. Of course, at this time, I was not a US visa officer. I had no idea about US visa applications. And so we were pretty naive going into it. But it turns out at the visa interview, the officer was aggressive. She directly asked him, well, shouldn't you be applying for a K visa? You know, the fiance of a US citizen. And he, of course, replied, wait, I'm not engaged. We're not engaged. We're not planning to get married right now. And I just want to go visit for the holidays. I'll be back in January. Look, I have a return ticket. That officer replied to him by saying, do you know how many visa applicants I know that have a return ticket and never come back? Of course, my then boyfriend was surprised and taken aback by how aggressive and assuming she was about his intentions. Um, and he continued to, to say, look, I'm, I live here in this country. I, here's my status. I have these ties. I'm doing this. Um, you know, I can't leave. I don't plan to stay in the United States. And in fact, my girlfriend lives here with me. Look, she has her resident card. She's staying here too. So now that I have the experience of having been a visa officer, I realize that this is highly irregular and extremely lucky, but this visa officer ended up issuing him a limited visa for six months so that he could just do the trip for Christmas and then come back. I guess she was convinced that he would come back after Christmas, but she was not convinced for the full 10 years, which was the visa reciprocity that he would have had, that he was not, you know, not gonna use it in the future to stay. Again, that was highly irregular and extremely lucky, but we did get to go to my family's house. He got to meet my family and eventually we got married. Well, the moral of this story is if you are a US citizen or someone residing in the United States in a different status and you want your significant other to visit you or to visit your family in the United States, that visa applicant needs to get prepared. It is not enough to go to the visa interview and just say, okay, I'm gonna answer some questions and tell them that I'm going to visit my boyfriend or my girlfriend's family and I'll be back. No, the visa officer in most cases assumes that having a significant other in the United States or a US citizen significant other is not compatible with non-immigrant intent. So the visa applicant needs to go in there with a proactive stance, a firm argument, and a real strategy to show the visa officer that they have enough ties outside of the United States to warrant the issuance of a tourist visa even though they have a significant tie to the United States, which is a loved one, a significant other residing there. Here at Argo Visa, we help people with this all the time. Of course, I have my own personal experience that I can draw on, but also myself and all of my colleagues here at Argo Visa, we know exactly what goes into this visa adjudication and how to show the visa officer that you intend to leave the United States after a short trip to the United States. Um, and we look forward to helping you soon.